Welcome sa sip9.com. This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, quadrilaterals at uh, kung napanood niyo yung previous videos natin, ang pinag-uusapan natin was about uh, parallelograms. No? So, may, mga, may quadrilateral tayo, may given conditions. We prove uh, using those conditions that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So, in this video, in particular, meron tayong parallelogram or sorry, quadrilateral ABCD at yung angle A is congruent to angle C. So, opposite angles. Tapos B and D are also congruent. So, the, the opposite angles are congruent. Then, we have to prove that it is a parallelogram. No? Okay, so, siguro ang unang part na gagawin natin sa proof is yung given. Gagawin pa rin natin two column proofs, no? Katulad ng mga previous proofs na ginawa natin. So, this is our proof. At yung ating statement, syempre, with our reasons, no? So, every statement dapat meron kang reasons, no? It's either yung mga previous na napag-aralan or yung mga na-prove na na theorems or definitions or ah... Uh, uh, mathematical principles no? we have uh, reasons so here simple lang yung reason natin kasi nandun siya sa given so ang reasons natin is given para dito sa dalawang ito no? next we have pag ang angle ay congruent then their measures are equal no? so ibig sabihin measure of angle A is equal to measure of angle B and at the same time measure of angle B, oh sorry, this is angle C. Angle C, okay, measure of angle B is equal to measure of angle B. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ito equal, ito congruent, tapos may M siya. Well, uh, yan yung convention natin. Ibig sabihin nito, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, yung sukat mismo ng angle. Yan yung may uh, degrees, no? 30 degrees, 40 degrees. Ito ang pinag-uusapan natin dito. Hindi sukat, kundi yung size niya, no? Uh, ibig sabihin niya, hindi, hindi ka pwedeng maglagay ng degrees pa ganito. So, ang pwede mo lang dyan gawin, pag congruent sila, is pwede mong sukatin. Uh, sorry, pwede mong ipagpatong silang dalawa or using compass and straight edge yung pinaka-accurate, no? So, uh, these are no similar but uh, hindi not, not exactly uh, the same statements. No? And of course, pag ang angle ay congruent, equal yung kanilang measure. You know? And vice versa, pag equal ang measure, they are congruent. Okay, next, we have, uh, anong reason, na, reason natin dito? Uh, the congruent angles have no, equal measures. Sinabi ko kanina. So, yan yung reason natin. What do we have next? Alam natin that uh, quadrilateral, yung angle sum niya ay 360 degrees. So, measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus, ito tayo, ano, para meron tayong space, measure of angle C plus measure of angle D equals 360 degrees. At ang reason nito ay, alam niyo na, no? Angle sum Pag sinabi ng angle sum, we are referring to the interior angles, no? Angle sum of quadrilateral quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Hindi na natin mabubuo ito kasi kulang tayo ng space. Next, ang gagawin ko ngayon, since equal yung uh, kukunin ko pa rin equation na ito, kaso since equal itong angle A at angle C, Yung angle C, yung angle C dito, yung angle C dito, papalitan ko siya ng angle A. No? So, gagawin ko siya ng angle A. So, mangyayari, dalawa na yung angle A ko. Tapos, ah, uh, what else? Yung angle D, yung angle B dito, angle D ay papalitan ko siya ng angle B. Kasi, pareho sila ng measure din, no? So, papalit ko siya dito. So, gagawa ko ng bagong equation. Lagyan natin ng kulay para makita nyo. 
So, A pa rin, measure of angle A, plus, no? Measure of angle B, ito na yun. Pangalawa na yun, measure of angle B. Plus, yun, yung pinalit ko na doon sa C, measure of angle A. Measure of angle A. Plus, measure of angle B. Yung, yung D, papalitan ko ng B. Siya magiging blue. Measure of angle B. Is equal to 360 degrees. So, siguro ilagay na natin ito dito. Sa taas. Okay? So, pinalitan ko lang. At ang reason nito, substitution lang, no? Substitution. Next, babalik ta rin ko ngayon. Yung measure of angle A, ganun pa rin. Plus, pero yung measure of angle B, gagawin ko na siyang angle D. So, ang ipapalit ko naman ngayon, baliktad. Equal sila, di ba? So, angle B or angle D, uh, angle D pareho lang. So, ito, papalitan kita ng measure of angle D. Measure of angle D plus, di ko na ito papalitan, measure of angle A. Plus, eto di ko di ulit so measure of angle d para pareho silang b dito pareho silang b equals 360 degrees so pareho yan substitution nag substitute lang ako ng values or ng angles kasi pareho naman yung sukat ng uh, dalawang pares na yun no? okay so pag ginumbine ko to magiging 2 dalawang angle a 2 measure of angle a plus 2 measure of angle b equals to 360 degrees. Ganon din dito. 2 measure of angle A plus 2 measure of angle D. D naman yung pangalawa. Equals 360 degrees. Ano naman ang ano dito? Reason natin. This is by addition. Nag-add lang naman tayo ng uh, angles. Okay. What else? Pag dinivide ko to ng 2, tong, tong equation na to, mangyayari magiging measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. Ito naman, measure of angle A plus measure of angle D is 180 degrees. This is by division. Inivide lang natin by 2. Yun yung reason natin. Next, Ibig sabihin nito, measure, sorry, not already measure, but angle A is supplementary to angle B and angle A is also supplementary to angle D. Bakit? Anong reason nito? If the sum of the sum of the angles the sum of two angles is two eight is 180 degrees. If the sum of two angles is 180 degrees. Of course, pag sinabing sum of two angles, the sum of the measures of two angles, no? Sin shortcut ko na lang para hindi pa siya tumahaba. But uh, in reality, yun naman talaga yun, sum of the measures of the, the two angles, 180 degrees. They are supplementary, no? Okay. Next. Pag no, ano ulit yung given natin kanina? E equal tong dalawang to. Oh, this is from the given already. No? This is equal din to. But here, we have shown that A and B are supplementary. So, itong dalawang ito. No? Siguro dito tayo para hindi tayo may store pa nito. So, these two, angle A and angle B, are supplementary. At mayroon tayong theorem na sinabi na pag mayroon tayong uh, if two lines are cut by a transversal, no? pag mayroon tayong ito yung lines natin, are cut by a transversal, ito yung transversal natin. Pag in-extend ko, magiging line yun, di ba? Tapos pag in-extend ko to magiging transversal natin. And the interior angles on the same side 
of the transversal are supplementary. Pag supplementary yung interior angles natin. Then, the two lines are parallel. Ibig sabihin, AD is parallel to BC. AD AD is parallel to BC. What else? Ano pang sinasabi dito? Sinasabi din that uh, angle A no? angle A is also supplementary to angle D. So, ibig sabihin, parallel lines din ito. Katulad ng reason natin dito kanina. So, ibig sabihin, AB is also parallel to what? AB is parallel to DC or CD. Baka no? makalimutan natin, meron yan dyan. No? Okay? So, ano reason nito? Yun yan, sinabi ko kanina, if two lines are cut by a transversal, by a transversal, and the interior angles, interior angles, angles on the same side, same side. Nahaba, no? Anyway, on the same side of the transversal are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. So, yun, hindi ko na itutuloy kasi masyadong mahaba. Or maybe I should. I should no? So, angles on the same side same side of the transversal are supplementary then the two lines are parallel the two lines are parallel the two lines are parallel so pag, na, pag nalaman na natin na parallel yung opposite sides no ibig sabihin Ano na yun? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Is a parallelogram. Ano reason natin? Ang reason natin is by definition. Kasi ang definition ng pa parallelogram, uh, quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. At from here, nasatisfy natin yung definition. Therefore, na-prove natin that A, B, C, D is indeed a parallelogram. No? Okay, so I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. Uh, bisitahin nyo yung ating website, yung siplayan.com. Nandiyan yung mga lista ng videos natin. Uh, I-update ko yan from time to time. Maraming salamat at, and see you in the next tutorial.